Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are here in Gardena, California. Mm -hmm. This is our semi hometown, huh, baby? We're yeah. in Torrance next door. Right. For those not familiar with Gardena, it's about maybe 10 miles south of Los Angeles uh, International Airport. Mm -hmm. So it's not too far. Uh, we are here at Tokyo Central because they just have a grand opening on a new revolving sushi restaurant. Yeah, so this place, they, you have a food court, which the food court is excellent. We've tried every single place in that food court. Mm -hmm. Upstairs, this, uh, this Tokyo Central has a second floor. It used to have shopping upstairs, yes. but what they did is they completely gutted it out and they stuck a restaurant there. Mm -hmm. So there are not too many places that we know of have a full-blown restaurant in a supermarket. That's right? right. And That's so right. this one does, but we put our name in because I hear we get really busy and it just opened, I believe, in February. So it's still getting all that new busy crowd. So we're going to go put our name down and then walk around. Yeah, you know, we forgot the name of the restaurant. Oh, Waka Sakura. Waka Sakura, mm -hmm. right. And you know what? This is our go to market here it for is. all of our uh, Japanese and Hawaiian foods. Mm -hmm. Big selection over here. Yeah. Great prices, too. Excellent. Yeah, so uh, yeah, let's head in and put our name in. We walk through to the back of the market, inside the market though. We have to go upstairs. This up here used to be all shopping. We have to go put our name down on an iPad. Okay, let's go. Alrighty. Well, putting my name on the iPad, it's up to the stairs. Right now we're at opening time. So, let's put my name down. It's 10.42 right now and it opens at 11 put my name down. Here's the restaurant. Right, so uh, there's a few people ahead of us mm -hmm. right yep. here, but not and too bad. And they text you when it's ready, so they're saying that I was added to the wait list. All right, now we just wait. After we eat, we'll show you the highlights, but you don't see this view too much. This is on the second floor, and here is the restaurant. I mean, restaurant, here's the store. Yeah. And it's uh, surprisingly kind of empty this morning. But then again, we're early in the morning. It usually gets really busy. And you should see these. this uh, place has some really good bentos. Sometimes I buy these to take for lunch tomorrow or whenever I go to work. Oh yeah, uh, yeah me too. Yeah. They have uh, such a big selection over here. One of my favorite markets. It is. It's a fairly good sized restaurant. I would say maybe about 50 tickets or so. You would order from the iPad. It has all of this here that you're able to order. It also says price does not include taxis. Order your drinks here as well. Or you have a QR code here which you can do it on your phone. But they kind of recommend it just using the, the iPad, iPad, right? So the, these are the conveyor belts here. There's no physical conveyor belts, but the uh, the order is made and it's sent to your table. Correct, and they also give you a menu. So you can actually see the pictures. If you're not familiar with that up there, you can actually see what it looks like here. And it tells you things that are sold out. And it gives you the prices as well. The prices actually don't look too bad. No, it doesn't. Like this little party tray here six kinds of salmon for $10.99. That isn't too bad, especially if it's a freshly made salmon. So that's what we're going to find out. So yeah, we have a little bit of everything. Oh man, they're sold out of the uh, soft serve. Oh wow. Uh, yeah. That'll be for the next time. So we're going to go see what we're going to get. First off the bat, we saw some grilled items we wanted. So we go ahead and press this arrow to see where we can find it. They have some really good looking stuff here. So it seems like when you order, they recommend you to get no more than four orders at a time because here's what we're getting and there are only four spots. So now we're going to hit order. Yep, this is all brand go. new to us right here. And it tells you what we got. Now we're just waiting, making sure it's okay. Confirm your order. Okay. Yeah, so you know they, they do have like the uh, like the picture guide, so you can kind of see what what to expect. Yeah. Right? What we have on the table is some um, ginger right there, and we have your toothpicks and chopsticks, and of course some shoyu. There we go. Well, I like it because it says shoyu on it, baby. It does say shoyu. Yeah, Not which just is soy sauce. Soy sauce, yeah. right? And we did order some tea, regular green tea, and it's got free refills. 
They even give you a little yes. plate for your bag. Yep. Good stuff. So the iPad notifies you when your dish comes. Right. And what happens? There's one too. Oh yeah, that, that one just yeah, came. Two of them. Yeah, so it basically comes sliding on this conveyor belt. Yeah. So here's our Wagyu and our tuna. Right. Wow. Interesting. Looks exciting. It does. Look at that. It's a uh, it's single piece for that wagon. It is. And it was kind of expensive for a single piece, but this is what we're here to share with you guys. And when I saw poke on the menu, I have to try it out. They do give you some little chips here. Let me just try the tuna by itself. Here we go. Looks pretty good. This is a very unique poke. This is nothing like Hawaiian poke at all. The sauce that it's marinating in is kind of kind of sweet and a little tart at the same time. It's very good. I, I like it. It's a different take on it for sure. And I don't know what these stringy things are. It looks like meat. I don't Interesting. Know. I really don't know. Try that out. This is called the bluefin poke, right? Mm -hmm. So the little streamy parts is some kind of vegetable root. Very nice flavor to it. I love the fresh avocados. Bluefin tuna is nice and fresh. This is very good. I like it. Of course, I think I like the. I like the Hawaiian style better, of course, but this is very good. What's kind of cool, especially if you're not paying attention to the belt, is that when your order comes, it does a little bell, ding, 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 and so, and then you see your food stop, so that's pretty cool. So what we got here is we got the seared Wagyu beef with salt sauce. This is the grilled salmon, and then this one here, is the which one baby uh, it's a seared um, with spicy mayo I think there's a seared salmon with spicy mayo okay we're gonna go ahead and try some of these out let me try out this salmon you know I'm a fish lover wow look at that you can see all of that salmon juices right there I'm gonna try it first I have the lemon ready in my hand but I'm first gonna try this out without the lemon here Nothing like grilled salmon. A little bit crunchy because of the crust. Let me go hit it up. I don't, it doesn't need any lemon, but I'm just gonna get ahead, hit it up a little bit. Um, that is one, one very well executed salmon. I like how the inside, if you can see this inside here, you can see that all that great oils of that fish crispy on the outside and crispy edges right here the only thing i need a bowl of rice with this meal and i am done but order wise to me it's kind of small i probably need at least four of these pieces to eat with my rice to get me full for this one here we have the wagyu seared piece here with the salt sauce look how fancy it looks on like a single plate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it by hand and uh, eat half of it because I want to share it with you right here. Okay. It looks like um, the sauce really goes through with the uh, white rice mm -hmm. on the bottom right here. And you, you can see that it's definitely seared on the top. Wow, here we go. Oh, soft. This is very good, but it's very rich too. The meat is very tender. It has a little bit of a sweet sauce, not too much overly salty, even though it's supposed to be a salt sauce. Yeah, it's pretty good. But to me, I think I'm good with one. Mm. I don't think I need like a like a whole bunch of the, the Wagyu, because there's so many other things on the menu that I want to try. But this is pretty good. Here's a seared salmon with spicy mayo. I really like this rice. Here we go. See the rice there? that spicy meal is a kick. So 
if you're not a spicy person, you may not like this meal, but it matches amazingly with this salmon. I like this seared portion, and I like this rice. And this rice here is delicious, and it matches it so well. Wow, this is um, another win. Oh, we just got one. Alrighty. Oh yeah, look at this. That looks wow. like a good dragon roll. I think we have one more coming. We do. Here we have the sashimi trio. The most popular items, we have the, uh, the bluefin tuna, the salmon, and the yellowtail. That salmon That's, looks uh, amazing. Hamachi. Look at that salmon. It maybe. does, it does. I'm gonna go in for the tuna right here. They give you three slices of each. I'll put a little bit of show you on it. And they do give you a little bit of wasabi here if you want it. But you know me and wasabi on that last video, it, it didn't go too well. But here we go. Melts in your mouth. Delicious uh, bluefin tuna right there. Now I'm also excited about this salmon look at those lines the little the little fatty lines in it wow this looks really good too in fact all three look excellent another winner right there delicious i, I don't know what else to say besides fresh those two pieces are fresh i have no doubt that the hamachi here is going to be equally as fresh oh here we go Look at that. Wow. Delicious. If you can't decide which like type of sashimi to get, definitely go for this trio. It's got the best of the three right here. I like them all equally. Yeah, highly recommend this one. We're a big fan of salmon skin hand roll. So this is the salmon skin one. They had another hand roll as well, which was the salmon and avocado, but it was more like the salmon sashimi with the avocado. That looked good too, but we like our salmon skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. Look, it has lots of vegetables in there. It has that rice, has the carrot in there. And you can see that salmon skin is cooked to perfection. Let's go ahead and try this out. Oh, crunchy kind. I have had a lot of salmon skin in my day. And this is by far the most crunchy and the most flavorful. Flavorful because I love all salmon skin, but this one doesn't need a soy or any wasabi that I normally would put on my salmon, my salmon skin hand rolls. This is absolutely delicious. It is cooked to perfection. Let me try some of this veggies right here. This is like a meal in a hand roll. It has your fish, it has your vegetable, it has your rice. Um, packed in this like beautiful little holder here. This is delicious. I recommend the salmon skin hand roll. Now we combined two separate orders on this plate. The reason why we did that is where we, we took a thumbnail picture. So it just looked more, more impressive this way. But what we have here is the classic rainbow roll which is uh, the, the rainbow color. It's almost like what we had in the sashimi with salmon, uh, some bluefin tuna, and it's made with uh, California roll in the middle. And the other roll we have here is a cat uh, the dragon roll? Yeah, dragon, dragon roll. roll. This is a broiled eel, uh, again, with the California roll. And both of these are, are my favorite types of rolls here. Oh, look at that. I especially like the eel. It is cooked, and they put a little bit of sweet, like a like a unagi glaze sauce, which is like on the sweeter side. But this looks delicious. I mean, look at that. Look, look at that on this side. We got avocado in the middle. Oh, yeah. Let's go for that. Let's go for the big bite on this one. Yes. That was a big bite, but it demanded it. You gotta have all of those different flavors just combined in your mouth to create a new flavor, like Remy. 
right? Yeah, this is delicious. Wow. I know I'm saying delicious a lot because it is, you know? It's just not just okay or yeah, it's not too bad. No, if, if it's delicious, it's delicious. So yeah, it's a winner. What I like about the salmon, I mean the um, the dragon roll, is that they didn't skip on the avocado here. Look how big that piece of avocado is and that eel in there. I'm gonna go ahead and wait on this one, but because this is screaming my name right now. This this rainbow roll. It has a good piece of salmon in there. You can see how fresh that avocado is in there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dip it in my sauce and see how this one is. Now this is gonna be a big bite. Mm, that rainbow roll was delicious. What it makes it, other than the fish, it's extremely fresh. What makes it really good is that California roll inside it is just to die for what i like so far about this roll is they give you a lot of meat even though it's imitation crab usually for the california roll they give you a lot of meat and very little vegetable when when you went to a sushi place they give you a lot of vegetable and very little meat in the middle this one's absolutely the opposite these are so far the ones we've tried are amazing we're getting pretty full, so we're down to our last two. I got the steamed egg. Look at that, comes out extremely hot. Gives you a cute little spoon. And as you can see, the steamed egg has some corn in there, has some mushroom in there. Let's see, I thought it said it had some shrimp. Oh, as I say that, there it is. I really like it because it's a very, soft like almost scrambled egg and they put things in it to me it, it's very comforting my dad used to make this all the time with um glass noodles and so this it kind of reminds me of that meal and to me it's just very comforting let's try this out mm. good egg flavor not it's almost like a uh, not quite like a hard boil. It's kind of hard to explain like a steam egg. Not like a custard because like it's not very sweet. Very soft boil or something. It's like a very soft boiled egg, mm -hmm. but it's but it is like done in broth because you can see there's liquid in here. So I would recommend you to try it. Maybe the only thing I can think of that maybe not used to people is the egg with this type of texture. It's just a very smooth texture, almost like a custard, but a hot custard. And this is the very last piece that we're getting for our lunch here. The three-piece fried gyoza with a little bit of dipping sauce right here. Well fried, look at that. Nice and crispy. Now, let's go, let's go for a little dip in here. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, careful, man. it's hot. Yeah. Very crispy exterior, ground pork, a little bit of uh, chives, maybe something else, I'm not sure, but great flavor. Uh, the dipping sauce is a little like a shoyu and vinegar type of sauce. So if you don't like the vinegar, you just put the regular shoyu on it. Uh, yeah, this is really good. I think it's a good accompaniment with the, uh, with the sushi over here. Yeah, not bad. Oh yeah, it's very hot too. Almost burn my mouth. But I did it. All right, a little wrap up of Waka Sakura. And you know, just in case you're wondering what the name means, I, I looked it up. Waka means like a, like a Japanese poem, mm -hmm. and Sakura is a cherry blossom. So it's like a cherry blossom poetic dining experience, which it was. It I, was. I liked it. It was delicious. Yeah, and uh, uh, everything we had was absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. We could recommend that. And how do you think everything was? I thought it was. I thought everything was very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I made sure, or not made sure, but I wanted to see because we're in a supermarket. So is it like supermarket type quality? Right. And for the things that we tried, they were not. At least for the things that we tried, we can taste the flavor of the salmon. We can taste the flavor of the tuna. It wasn't washed down. Sometimes of supermarket quality. And I've tried 
the quality down here because they have bentos, which we'll show you later. I've tried the quality of the sushi here, and it's it's okay. You know, it's it, you can tell it's super Yeah, quality. it's okay if you want that stuff in the pinch. Yes. None wrong with it, it at correct. all. Correct. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was kind of uh, like afraid of. I was afraid mm -hmm. that it was the same fish that they had down there. Yes. They would just bring up here, mm -hmm. but it's not. Right. Yes. Correct. But it's much different. Yes. Yeah. So now we're gonna take a little tour of the market. We'll show you the uh, Hawaii section mm -hmm. and some of the bentos and Japanese snacks. Yeah, everybody wants to know about the snacks. Oh, yeah, I, I might buy some snacks. We're at one of my favorite sections, the Hawaii section. Come on over here. I'll show you what kind of our favorite stuff. We just got some of this, the Hawaiian sun guava jam over here. Of course, they have the lion coffee and the Hawaiian suns. Now tell me, which is your flavor of choice of these? Mine happens to be the guava nectar. Every time I drink this, it really just reminds me of like being in Hawaii. It just, vacation in a can. I love that flavor right there. And they have all the different flavors. Oh yeah, it has everything over here. And of course on this side, we have some uh, syrup, some uh, barbecue sauce, some more aloha shoyu, marinades, and everyone's favorite, right, Spam. And uh, you know what, I think the Spam Jam just happened in Honolulu recently. Mm -hmm. We missed it again. But one day we will hit up the Spam Jam. But yeah, gotta love it, good stuff. Big local company in Hawaii is Diamond. And so they have all of their little cookies right here, crackers here. Mm -hmm. And they also have what we like, what we can only find in Target over in Hawaii, are here are their cookies. They have animal crackers here and they carry candy bread, and kaki mochi. I want that butter toffee one though. So it's no. not quite here. I guess we gotta go to Hawaii just to get that butter toffee Yeah, one. we are gonna stop by the factory because they have yeah. a big store there. We have they do. all the stuff. Mm -hmm. Who remembers these? I used to eat these when I was a little kid. These are the little like puffs mm -hmm. that just kind of just melt in your mouth. And it's like $1.59 for like, well, like a, like a, a little five pack over here. And these are good for little ones because they just completely dissolve. Yes, it just dissolves, it melts. It's a kind of a sweet flavor. Hard to explain unless you've tried it before. But you gotta give it a try. I mean, again, yeah, it's only $1.59. Yes, uh, tamago boro. So tamago means uh, egg. egg and boro means boro. Yeah, there you go. I like to, uh, pickled daikon. So this is the kind that I use. I use the regular one. I don't use the spicy one, but I've tried the spicy one and it's not extremely spicy. So this is a good one. Uh, this is a good kimchi also. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now let's go look at the snacks. Another one of my childhood favorite Japanese snacks are these. Who remembers these? The little milky candies, right? It tastes like, like regular sweet milk that's in a hard ball, kind of chews melts in your mouth a little kind of bit. Condensed milk yeah, maybe? Yeah, yeah. These things are delicious. $2.19 a pack. It's a great price still. So yeah, I like these. And look at all of these little snacks. Oh yeah. Everything. And uh, you know, almost everything here is straight from Japan. It is. So, so yes, like everything is stuff. in Japanese as you can see, but they have little things that explain it to you. And plus you can kind of see what kind of snacks they are. Yeah, all of these look pretty good. Look at the strawberry one. Oh, any fan of pokey sticks? Check this out. You got your whole wall, whole wall of pokey sticks, all or pocky. Depends uh, what side of the country you're in. Now I call these bonji crackers, but they're like basically rice crackers with soy sauce. These are individually wrapped. These are my favorite. This Japanese is, crackers. This is the drive to Vegas snack. Yes, but I'm driving, pop one in my mouth, nice and crunchy. Yeah, I love these. A lot of companies kind of make this, but this is the one that we usually get. And uh, yeah, right here, three thirty-nine a pack. Yeah, good very stuff. Very inexpensive. Oh yeah, good stuff. All the different crackers. Yeah, see, here's another company. Almost the same thing. We get those too. Yep. What are one of my favorites? Are the little Sembei, which is the Japanese crackers covered in sugar. I've tried these. These are really good. Um, I've tried some other ones which are a little bit better, but I like the sugar coating. 
on it with that little bit of soy. It is delicious. Yeah, and these are right here, three ninety nine. Right there. One more childhood memory, which sparks a lot of memories as I'm walking down these snack aisles. Is a little Botan candy. Who remembers these? These used to come uh, with little toys. I remember a little toy at the end. Is there a toy still? I don't think so. I don't know. Why maybe. It, it shows a little elephant. Yeah, you know oh, what? They, they might have a little toy at the end. I remember opening up the little toy. But these had a little, like a cellophane uh, edible wrapper around it. Uh, rice, that's all it is. Just like little hard mochi stuff that just chews. But here they are right here, 99 cents a box. Still a great deal. As you can see, the whole prepared food section, it is massive here. They used to have ramen here that I used to get for lunches or even dinners since he works overnight, but they haven't seen it in a while. Right. But they have all of your rice balls on top. They have anywhere from full meals to salads. They even, if you're having it for lunch, they even have microwaves here where you can warm them up too. But look at this right behind me. This is just astounding. We have some great tuna and some salmon. There's a seared one as well. Great combinations. We also have some crunchy rolls and California rolls and Philadelphia rolls. Here we have some classic futomaki rolls. And on the top, I call them footballs, but they're actually in nari sushi, which is like the tofu skin. A little bit on the sweet side with just rice in the middle. And of course, there's some samplers here and combinations. And not a bad price, $6.99 for these. During the day, I think it's, I think they finished doing it about two o'clock or so. This is, you can make your own bento boxes here. After two o'clock, they, they already prepare or they already wrap them for you and then you used to buy them on the side. Yes, and, and they charge you by the uh, weight, the ten ninety nine a mm -hmm. pound. But they have everything from any of your salads to fruit salad, and they even have some soup, soups. This is the fried section, which we love this stuff over here. Anywhere from fried rice to chicken karage, which is very good. This is the umami karage, deep fried chicken smothered in our house soy sauce, which yeah. is a little bit sweet. We like this one more than this one. This has that great Stops. umami flavor mm -hmm. to it and they have everything else and then you weigh it by the pound these are 10.99 a pound grab and go section anywhere from full meals yeah. to your tempura to fish bento those are really good i'm a big fish person here look at that oh that's that little saba yeah mm -hmm. very good breakfast the terry chickens over here, more uh, mackerel, saba here. Here's also your curries. Uh, who likes these? These are the uh, sekihan, mm -hmm. Japanese uh, red bean rice. The katsu curries. And you have your chikuzen. These are like, um, like marinated vegetable and pieces of chicken. That's really good. And of course, you're, now you're entering the sushi and sashimi area. Big selection here. And you know, like we mentioned, uh, even though these these are good, the ones upstairs at the restaurant is different. It's different, yes. But these are good if in a pinch, you're in a rush. Yeah. And poke also. These are my favorite hand rolls. This Cali roll, it is so good. These are the ones where you put the roll together so it's not sitting in the seaweed. Right. And of course, we have a lot of sushi combinations here. So I'm getting my lunch for tomorrow. I got the simmered pork belly, and they have those soy sauce eggs in there. So I'm going to cover this up. When I get home, put it in the fridge. I have some rice at home. Lunch for tomorrow. Who is a fan of Hawaii Portuguese sausage? I am right here. They have all different kinds here. They have from Redondo's to Hawaiian brand, Purity. So what is your favorite? For me, this has got to be it, the Purity Hot. This is my fave. Slice it up, put it in a frying pan till it gets nice and crispy on the outside, but still a little oily in the middle. Man, with some rice and over easy eggs, game over. 
Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Have oh yeah, day. breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So yeah, let us know which is your favorite Portuguese sausage. I think they're all great. Can't go wrong. Of course, you have to stop, or you have to end an amazing meal with a dessert. And so they have all these here. This is really popular right now with the brown sugar boba. And then they have all of your mochi ice creams. These are definitely really good takeaways. All the different little sandwiches. But what I am looking for, I believe it's over on this side. Of course, everybody knows those mochi ones here. Right. But what I'm looking for are these. The Hokkaido Softs ice cream. And they sell it already to go. So we can go buy one and then start eating it. Yeah, different flavors. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they. I remember they had these in 7-Eleven in Japan. They also. do. Mm -hmm. And then doesn't that look delicious? It's already done for you. Just got to purchase it and go. Yeah, and even these little uh, fish ones here, right? Those are good. Yeah. And then they have the regular ones. I mean, they have your haagen dazs and everything like that. But you're in... Tokyo Central, you want to go Tokyo style. Well, that's going to wrap it up here from Tokyo Central and Gardena. Okay, oh, try yeah. it out, baby. Yeah, we did get that milk one. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a McDonald's soft serve. Um, I think it's better. It tastes lighter. A little bit milkier. That's mm -hmm. about the only difference, mm -hmm. but it's delicious. It is. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Oh, yeah. So, um, uh, any takeaways from mm. this? I definitely give this restaurant a try upstairs. People are saying it's kind of expensive and everything. It's not too bad depending upon what you order. Right. It's like, especially because meals now, even if you go to McDonald's as a $12, $15 meal, you can get a really good meal here for like 20 bucks. I'm thinking if you don't go all out and elaborate, people were coming in and out 30 minutes tops because luckily there was too, pretty much hardly any wait. But these places do get busy, especially on the weekends. Right. Now, we did order a lot just so we could share a, a lot of variety with, with mm -hmm. you guys. Right. And, uh, and yeah. We're, we are we're, full. We're full. I just want to say yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. ice cream is really that like the capper to it our is. meal. It is. Uh, do you have any shout outs? I do. Catherine, happy birthday. Uh, Kyle, happy birthday. V, happy birthday. Millie, happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Alex and Christopher, happy birthday. Scott and Charlene, happy anniversary. That's the one that does our um, jingle. Our jingles, yes. Mm -hmm. Scott, great. Yeah. Always comes through. Yep, he always does. Um, James and Callie, congrats on getting married. DJ and Litzy, thank you so much for watching. And Dan, we just saw him at Atimale with his little puppy. With his oh, little yeah. doggy. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And we met a lot of cool peeps here at Tokyo Central. We did. Thank you guys all so much for coming to say hi to us. Mm -hmm. We yeah. love it. We love it. So again, uh, happy birthday, everybody. Happy anniversary, Scott and Charlene. Mm -hmm. And thank you again so much all for yes. watching. Um, be sure to check to make sure you're subscribed to see all these wacky adventures that we take. Oh, because yeah. it seems like YouTube goes through their annual cleanup or something. And a lot of subscribed people are becoming unsubscribed. So be sure to check that. Well said. Thank you, babe. So until our next adventure, we'll catch you guys on the next one. What's up? Good? Mm-hmm.